every year. There are things you can do to be safe. Fox 23's Jennifer McNeil joins us now with more in our family safety tip. Well, Darren, there are limo rides, carriage rides, and half a dozen other ways to see the lights across the city. But it takes a lot of work to make those light displays look beautiful, but it also takes a lot of caution. Chris Jungers is up on the rooftop the day after Thanksgiving. It's a tradition, like football and leftover turkey for many Americans. It's a process that Chris started weeks ago. We're really trying to figure out what we're going to do each year. Do a little color here, do white lights there. Drive around the neighborhood and see what we can find. The final design goes up very carefully so he doesn't end up doing anything like the fictional Griswold family. <laughs> like falling over onto the uh, ground off the roof. Well, how many bulbs do you have to staple? Stan Sablowski knows the concerns well. Okay. He's a professional at putting up lights and he takes the calls every year. Uh, number one thing is I don't want my husband on the roof. <laughs> and during the light season, more than a dozen Tulsans wind up needing an ambulance after taking a fall from the roof. Obviously, if you don't, you're don't, not real sure how you're going to you know, fare on the roof, then maybe it's best to have a professional do it. The experts know the rules, and if you have to put up the lights yourself, you might want to follow their guidelines. Like only putting three strings of lights together on one power source and using clips instead of staples. And above all, use a sturdy ladder. These rules have worked for Stan since 1996. No one's fallen off the roof. Uh, no one's been electrocuted. And he and his crew have already decorated about 40 houses this year. This is it. The day after, now the phone will ring off the hook and it has been. But it won't be Chris Jungers calling. He's just about finished and is ready for others to drive by and enjoy. Festivity, you know, kind of a way to celebrate and show a little, uh, to show a little celebration. And our daughter likes it a lot. Experts have some more advice on how to stay safe when putting up the lights. When you put up the small twinkle lights, leave them on when you're putting them up outside. But when you put on the larger lights on top of the house and the roof, turn those off. If you don't, they say the bulbs could break and you could have to start all over. Back to you, Darren. That wouldn't be fun. All right, thank you, Jenny. Here are even more details. When you buy lights for outside, make sure they're designated for outdoor use and that the lights and wires are weatherproof. Also, shut off lights when you're asleep or not at home and limit continuous usage of lights to avoid overheating.